Welcome. Welcome to Morning Coffee with Dr. Stephanie. I am Dr. Stephanie D. Barnes. And by day, I am a healthcare innovation attorney, but I am always the liberated lawyer. I am committed to helping high achieving women experience a life that is joyful, meaningful, and fulfilled because life is too long to be unfulfilled. And you know, I've got a question for you. What's in your cup? You know, as busy CEOs of our lives, we are always filling the cups of others. We're filling the cups of our loved ones with inspiration and love. We fill the cups of those in the marketplace, in the workplace with encouragement and motivation. But what is left for us? You cannot give from an empty cup. This is a little something for you so that you can serve others from the overflow. And today, I want to fill your cup with the greatness in simplicity. You know, many times we do not give ourselves the opportunity to create greatness. You know, we don't realize that the greatness we possess is great. You know, we think that it's not fancy enough. We are looking for greatness to come in a big boom. And many times greatness is very quiet and it is just a peaceful breeze. You know, I was ruminating a while back and I wrote a note to myself, I'll read it to you. We look for greatness in the spectacular, the fire, the earthquake, and the high wind. Sometimes God comes to us in the whispers. Meditation and stillness is where you find the greatness. And I wrote that note and I thought about, wow, what a great message to share with you, to encourage you to find greatness in simplicity. It's so important to recognize that greatness begins in the small and quiet moments of our lives. And like an arrow, we have to pull back to gain momentum. We have to tune out the noise and listen for the whispers of greatness in our lives. And so here are five ways to embrace greatness in the simplicity of our lives. Number one, appreciate that greatness is the mere completion of your task, no matter how long it takes. Whatever it is, whatever goal it is that you've set for yourself, completion is the markation of greatness. Don't get caught up in how long it takes, how long it should have taken, it should have happened last year. When you complete it, you have achieved greatness. Number two, understand that greatness is sometimes a series of small victories. You know, we're looking for the big thing and we don't realize that all these small accomplishments that we have steadily done is the greatness we need. We have to reflect and recount the moments that have led to now and see the magnitude of the impact of our small and steady movements. Number three, we have to define greatness for ourselves. Greatness is always personal, always, every time. It's never defined by someone else's accomplishments. And it's not defined what someone else believes greatness is for us. You know, we cannot play our lives, we cannot play out the opus of the greatness of others that are on a grand stage. Because some people's greatness is this big production on a big stage. And we look at that and we think, well, we're just playing this sweet little melody in a room by ourselves. And our melody, our accomplishment, our creation is just as beautiful as their magnum opus. Your greatness does not need anyone else's measurement. Number four, we must allow greatness to unfold at the pace of our readiness. Greatness cannot be rushed. It cannot be prematurely unveiled. It, If it is dropped in a rocky and infertile soil, it will not mature beyond a flicker of our rushed efforts. We have to allow greatness to unfurl and we have to nurture it and allow it to grow at the pace of our readiness. If we're not ready to receive it, it won't be great. It will fizzle out. Number five, 
we have to honor the greatness in simplicity. Simplicity is the quality or condition of being easy to understand or be natural. Great does not always need to be grand. Greatness does not come from confusion and greatness cannot be forced. So as you go throughout your day and your week, I pray that you find greatness in simplicity, the natural beauty of where you are, who you are, and in the simple magic that you create every day. Here's two your greatness. Mm, mm, mm. I hope that you have been inspired by this morning's coffee. And of course, if you are a woman who's ready to create your opus and you need someone to help you orchestrate, give your girl a holla and let's have a revelation conversation where we can begin to create the magic of your greatness that you are ready to embark upon today. Until next time.